Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. Hilton Head Prep Main Street Theater will feature the wicked, funny, warm, romantic, and touching production of The Music Man. And here to tell us more, director Phil Harris and cast member Daniel Court. Welcome. Thanks, Thank Annie. Glad us. to have you. So, The Music Man is one of Broadway's most timeless, beloved classics. So, give our listeners a brief synopsis of this musical comedy. Well, there's a small town in, called River City. It's in Iowa. And uh, they're going about their regular business when this man shows up named Harold Hill. He decides he's going to create a boys' band. And the reason for the boys' band is there's a new pool hall. <laughs> and if Trouble. they don't have a band, yeah. a boys band, then what's going to happen? All the boys are going to turn into juvenile delinquents. So Professor Harold Hill <laughs> uh, comes to town and is going to save the town. He's a con man. He's going to collect money for uniforms, for music, for instruments, and then he's going to head out of town on the next freight train. And he don't know one note from another, That's right. as they say in the show. <laughs> what he doesn't count on is this lady named Marion. And she is interested in him, and he kind of gets interested in her, and the rest is the reason to come see the show. Of course, there's a few numbers in it people may have heard before, like 76 Trombones, mm -hmm. There's Trouble in River City, Mary and the Librarian. So there's a lot of fun in the show. It's nice, warm, happy, and quick. So Phil, you have, uh, you're pretty new to the low country. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm from Northern Virginia, uh, just outside of Washington, D.C. I met Daniel at a uh, retirement community expo. Uh, my wife and I were both looking to leave the rat race of Washington, D.C. area and come down to where there's less traffic and a lot slower lifestyle, but it had to have theater. And as I, we, my wife and I were at this expo, we were asking people, well, is there live theater? Is there live theater? I want culture as well as us traffic. <laughs> and, and came across this gentleman over here who just had closed uh, Man of La Mancha, wasn't yes, it? Yes, was. Playing yeah. Don Quixote for Man of La Mancha, and there was an instant click. Uh, with our personalities, uh, we ended up coming down here, buying some property from the man. And, uh, of course, that wasn't the kind, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. He's yeah. a salesman. You can talk know. about that after the show. Right. <laughs> but yeah. but uh, that's how I, I, I met Daniel, and we came down here. Prior to that, I asked Daniel to spread my resume, my theatrical resume around. I've done about 20, 30 shows that wow. I've directed in Northern mm -hmm. Virginia, and I wanted to do theater down here. Um, in September this past year, uh, I was contacted and offered the job of directing Music Man from Main Street. Well, fabulous, and we're and the glad rest is to all have she wrote. you. Absolutely. So, Daniel, uh, this will be the third time you've portrayed the role of Professor Professor Harold Hill. Uh, what about this character? Do you identify with? Well, uh, there's a lot, Unf <laughs> unfortunately, because he's not the most scrupulous guy in the world. Um, you know, Harold is a salesman. He's a traveling salesman, which I did for 17 years before getting grounded here and with Charter One. But um, you know, this story is about the transformative power of love. You know, I, I identify with him because, you know, we've all got a past. We've all got something that we're uh, using a facade to cover up. And, you know, Harold is, uh, you know, he's running from himself. And in River City, he gets grounded. He gets grounded by love. He didn't, there's a, there's a line at the end when uh, he's asked to leave and he says, well, I can't go. And Winthrop asked him, why not? And he said, well, for the first time in my life, I got my foot caught in the door. I do relate to that because, you know, I, I was... I w I've been changed by the transformative power of love through my wife and my daughter, so yeah. I do relate to that. That's very cool. So this kicks off, the show kicks off the 20th year celebration. What can we expect in the anniversary year that honors the late Judy Gallagher? Yeah, Judy Gallagher, for those that don't know, uh, we lost her about uh, too young at 61 uh, in 2009, but Judy was one of the founders of the Main Street Youth Theater. It was just a dream of hers to have youth theater. She saw the importance of having youth involved in, right. in, in the arts. And uh, Judy actually left a portion of her estate to the theater to make sure that we're sustainable moving forward. And I am one of the board members, mm -hmm. and Debbie is too. And you know, it's an honor to to have that responsibility to sure. to bring theater to to the community. It's a treasure. We're celebrating 20 years. We've got Wizard of Oz that starts in June, 
and we're going to be doing a uh, kind of a musical review. We've still got to write it mm -hmm. in November that honors Judy and her life and what she brought to the community and to the theater. So, so cool. And we will have the website, which I know is, is very new, on the screen so people can buy tickets online. And thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Sandy. Come see us. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.